Okay, this is the initial fitting of parts. I've set up my tripod so I can use two hands here, but you've seen this part, so we've got the same thing. We've got this stepper motor runs this bottom pulley, which is arm number one, and then this stepper motor runs this top uh, gear, not pulley, which is stepper motor or which is arm number two. All right, so they go through the middle, they come up through that bushing, and then I had to change some of the parts. Uh, I went with these black pulleys that I had; they just fit better. And again, all these um, all these things are either from the helicopter, you know, all the bushings, um, the gears, all that. That's from the helicopter. This whole shaft here and then these other pieces are from printers that I took this is a you know a cogged belt and a cogged pulley here and there's a cogged pulley right there okay and then this piece that I have right here was actually a it was a little tensioner that came it looked just like this. It came with uh, in a printer. It had a little wheel in there that pushed against a belt. It had a spring on this thing back here. So I just cut all that stuff off with the grinder, sanded it down, and it's um yeah, it's much smaller. And then I put this these two these screws in here on both sides. That's how I'm tensioning it. So I just put it on there, pushed the belt out until it was tight the way that I wanted it, and then I tightened up these screws. So basically what's happening is this shaft, let's see that this gear is just hooked to the outer shaft, which is hooked to this arm. Okay, so when I move that gear, it moves that arm. Okay. And then this gear goes to the inner shaft, it's hooked to this pulley, which uh, this pulley, or this, yeah, this cog pulley and that cog pulley are the same size. So however much this turns, that turns the same amount. And then it's just uh, tensioned a little bit because it's cogged, it, it doesn't need to be tensioned that much. So when I do the other stepper motor, then it does this this other arm. So if I turn them together, this is what happens. The angle between the two arms stays the same. I'm turning the pulleys together like that. If I turn just the one, um, just the, let's do this. If I turn just the bottom pulley, look at that. The angle, it, you know, it stays it's kind of staying parallel to this. See that? And then if I turn just this, uh, the, 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 this one, the inner shaft one, then it, it moves that. So the way this thing is going to work is my pin is going to be on the end here. I still have to make a lift for the pin. I haven't done that yet. Uh, but what the software does is it it knows you know, the length of this arm, the length of this arm, and then you give it an XY position and it will uh, calculate this angle and find the location of this point. And then once it knows the location of this point, actually, you know, in geometry, you're always going to get two because you could have it, you know, this being right here, you could also, you know, have something like this. So you can, you get two points. But in my case, I'm always going to select the least point because I don't want to. I don't want to go, you know, all, all the way around on things. So I'm always going to select uh, when it calculates and finds the two points. I'll always pick the one that with the lower values. Well, the lower y value. 
And once, so if I pick the one with the lower y value, then it should always do here. So basically I'll be able to draw from about this point, coming straight out from that pivot, and then you know, on out, let's see. I don't know, somewhere up in up in here probably will work. Um, you know, so let's see, let me get a ruler. You know, that's a six inch ruler, but really coming from here. So, you know, I'm gonna have about a five. Yeah, I could probably do a three by five card or something like that, drawing space, but um, I'm actually thinking more along the size of a sticky note or or maybe a roll of paper, you know, a roll of um, calculator paper or something like that. Okay, so this is the initial fit up. One last look. And then I'm going to take everything apart. And... Add some legs here so that it can sit down. The idea is that it'll sit down on the table like that. And um, got to do a pen lift. I may actually hook it up and see if I can work it without before I do the pen lift. All right, that's it.